Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Sir Jack and you're here. I am on my way to go back to school. If you don't know, I go to the University University of Alabama. I'm gonna be a junior and it's July 4th, so happy July 4th. I have my mom in the car. First of all, I'm driving back to Bama because I have my car in Virginia. My plan was to drive all the way back and my mom yesterday got a flight in Charlotte. So we're driving to Charlotte. She's getting on a flight to come back home and I'm staying at my friend's house and I'm gonna drive the rest of the way tomorrow. We have six hours until we're in Charlotte. I have seven hours tomorrow. So it's a long drive. I'm about to eat my oatmeal. I made overnight oats and it like spilled everywhere in the car. Yum. So I'm gonna eat this. We live, again, we have six hours, so we have a kind of a long way. Hey guys, I just want to quickly interrupt this video and thank Gilly Hicks for sponsoring this video. I've absolutely been loving and literally living in all Gilly Hicks clothing pieces, whether that's loungewear or just like going out wear with friends, athletic wear. They just have so many different types of pieces for different occasions. Everything is just so perfect and I've been getting so many comments like my TikTok videos and everything about where everything's from. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the pieces that I picked out and how I style them. And I also, there's a summer sale going on. You guys can use code GILLYMOVES. I'll have it right here and get an additional 25% off. So make sure you guys check out. I'll have everything in the description box. But thank you again for sponsoring this video. Also, this top is from Gilly Hicks. And these sweatpants cargoes, look how cute they are. They're gray. I'm going to show you how I style, how I would style this. Okay, so we have this little cute pink top. It's so comfortable. This is my favorite part. Look at the back. I think this with these sweatpants are super cute. Going for like the chill lounge vibe. Yeah. And then also, just because you guys were asking, this is like my favorite. I showed this in my last video. This is my favorite jacket in the entire world. And I, it's like the same color as these sweatpants. So it's like a little cute set. Okay, next we have this cute little set. You guys know me, I love my sets. I love when things match. Um, so most of the things that I picked out are sets. But this color is literally perfect. I'm obsessed with it. And then again, with the back, it's so cute. Yesterday I wore this out to dinner. But these are the shorts with this little crew neck. One, two, three. Matching joggers with this crew neck. Guys, when I tell you these joggers, they're so comfortable. This is so cute. So like, if I want to wear pants, if it's a little colder, or I can wear shorts. But literally, they have pockets. I love the pockets. It's just a little black lounge set, black crew neck, and then black cargos. So comfortable to lounge around in and chill. You know, I love sweatpants. I'm always wearing sweatpants or some kind of like comfy, loose, baggy clothes. Okay, this is the next little set. So fun and colorful. Here's the back, probably looks weird with my sports bra, but it's so, like, this. it feels like a blanket, so soft. And obviously you could change this up. I'm gonna show you guys a different, how I style this too. This is like one of my favorites. This is a different way of styling this tank top, white and white, I think it's so cute. These are the same pants. Oh wait, no they're not, they're not the same pants. These are just like the white sweatpants, but they're like big on the bottom. Oh my gosh, this is like a perfect airport fit or even going to class when it's a little chilly out. Yeah, this is like, like I said, it's ribbed, comfortable, light. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I like like the low, low rise stuff with like a little crop. Fits my little style. Okay, next, guys, I've never owned a pair of shorts like this. So the top of it, it's high-waisted. They're like perfect athletic workout shorts, um, but very loose. Um, but the top is like, it feels like you're wearing leggings kind of, but then they like flow out. And they're so comfortable, it feels like you're wearing nothing. I also picked out this just plain black sports bra, but 
my mom's gonna love this one because she loves when like my sports bras are like a U shaped, which it's not a V, it's like literally a U. So it kind of comes down like a little deeper and then the back looks like this. Okay, so these are the black joggers. They have pockets and then these are super cute and athletic. Uh, even these two together. So cutesy and comfortable. Like I said, you guys can shop all the pieces that I just showed you on Gilly Hicks from Hollister. Thank you again, Gilly Hicks, for sponsoring this portion of the video. And let's get back into the vlog. Hello, everyone. It is now Wednesday, and I'm on the road. On my way to Bama last night, basically I got to Charlotte where Maddie lives and I stayed the night at her house. Thank God for her because it's like the perfect halfway stop um, in between my house and Bama. So, and it was 4th of July yesterday. So like we had so much fun. We went in the pool, the hot tub and her dad made like a really nice dinner. We had like a salad and he made like shrimp and stuff. I don't know, but it was so much fun now. I left at like 7 a.m. It's now 8.30 a.m. And I just stopped at a Starbucks to get oatmeal, but they didn't have oatmeal. So it's fine because I got fruit. The Starbucks I stopped in was like, it's like a really cool grocery store. So I got cantaloupe and stuff. And then I have like snacks that I'm just gonna eat. But I have like five hours left. It's 1.30 p.m. And I left at 7 a.m. this morning. I'm literally in like my apartment garage. Like I don't know how I'm gonna get everything in my car up to my room, but we're gonna figure it out. I'm just so happy and thankful I got here safely. So much has happened. Like so much has happened during this drive, which I'll talk about later. But right now I'm gonna take all my stuff up. It's gonna take a bunch of trips, but I'm just glad I made it. It's much later now. I'm exhausted that drive took everything out of me, but I told you I was gonna explain like what has happened throughout the drive and I'm gonna do that right now. So basically I was driving, my management texted me in this like group chat and obviously like I don't wanna go on my phone when I'm driving so I like couldn't open the message. Like I'm on the highway. I'm not saying I'm the best driver ever so I need to be focused or I'm literally gonna crash the car. So I couldn't, I was like on the phone with my mom. I was like, mom, like my manager, no, it wasn't even my manager texting me. It was someone else that works for my management. I was like, mom, I think it's an important message because like they texted me and it's like a picture. And I, she was like, just don't look at it. Like stop to the side, um, stop at like a restaurant and see what she said. And I'm like, I don't want to stop. I did not want to stop at all during my drive. I just wanted to keep driving. And so I just happened to glance at it and I saw Good Morning America. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I just, I didn't eat, I didn't look at it. I just saw Good Morning America and I knew it was something important. So I sent the picture to my mom and I was like, mom, can you read it to me? And she read it aloud. I'll, um, if I can, I'll put the image of like what was sent. But basically this sweet, incredible girl named Brooke Walker um, recently got her leg amputated and I mean her story is inc like incredible when I tell you I was driving and my mom was like reading me it I I just was just like thank you God to know that I have an impact on her life like she just impacted my life just hearing her story and I have this like such amazing opportunity to make a little video like a really short video and they're gonna play it for her um, on her segment of Good Morning America but everything's just so fast. Like she's going on the show, I believe on Monday and it's like airing Tuesday or something. So like I need to send the video today and I got, I just went to the cheer office and my coach gave me, I'll show you. My coach gave me this shirt to give to her. They're gonna give it to her on the show. It just says Alabama cheerleading and I signed it right there. And then I'm also giving her this little pom pom thing. Um, but yeah, it's just, an incredible opportunity. These are the things that matter most to me. So I'm going to take this to UPS. I'm gonna, wait, first of all, I'm gonna film the video, take it to, take that to UPS, and then I need to figure out something for dinner. Like, I'm supposed to go run and work out because I've been in a car all day, but I don't know, I'm just so tired. I've never driven that long, like I keep saying. But I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do the video right now. I am back, I filmed the video, I, 
dropped the shirt and stuff off at UPS. And I was like, Mom, what do I go, like, what do I get for dinner? What do I eat for dinner? I'm tired. And she was like, order Thai basil, which is my favorite place in Tuscaloosa to eat. So, oh my gosh, they gave me rice anyways. I did not want rice. Here's my Thai basil order. And they also know me by heart. Oh my gosh, okay. Veggie rolls and veggie delight with tofu. Oh my gosh, it looks so amazing. I suck at using chopsticks, but I just like it. It makes me eat slower and it's fun. Wait, but I never know how to break it. Okay, let's try. Mmm! Okay. Now, oh, comment down below if you like ginger. Because I know, like, okay, if you asked me, like, a couple years ago if I like ginger, I'd be like, that's disgusting, but I love it. Oh my god. This is so good. Pause the music. I'm all clean. I showered. I didn't even work out today, which I totally was supposed to go work out after I got here, but like the drive drained me. And like everything that happened with the whole Good Morning America thing, like I had to get all that stuff done. So it's fine. We'll just work out tomorrow. Um, but I showered and everything. And Riley left these two packages on my bed, so I'm gonna open them. This one's from Every Jewels. Oh my gosh, wait, I'm so excited. I think this is the collab. <gasps> this is Olivia's storyline. You guys probably seen this girl on TikTok. Her name's Olivia, she's beautiful and she's so pretty. And she came out with her little jewelry collab with it, Every Jewels. When designing this necklace, I knew I had to incorporate a pearl since I've worn them for years. I also wanted it to be easily stackable and revolve around the same pieces I wear daily. I'm so excited to share this necklace with you. I hope you love it. XOXO Olivia. Look how perfect that is. Oh wait, you can't see. So it has the pearl and then it has the cross. That, and then this is from Logan Tay, X Loungewear. Do you guys know like the tie-dye sweat sets that I wear like all the time? Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, but you guys have to get like the full. You go like this. Over your swimsuit. Oh, so cute. And it's blue, one of my favorite colors. I totally wish I had this in Puerto Rico, but thank you, Gintai, this is so pretty. That's your little unboxing for the night, but I'm totally not gonna do anything the rest of the day. I mean, it's night time. Good morning, everyone. It's now, it's Thursday. Um, it is 7.14 in the morning. I have my little workout fit on, eye patches. I haven't even drank water yet. So, I'm gonna drink this. I have my water and my Celsius. I'm going to, I think I'm gonna this. No, I'm gonna sit on my couch. Sorry, they're like literally already mowing the grass and it's seven in the morning. But I'm gonna do my devotional, read my Bible, and then I'm gonna go on a run today. I wanna do my devotional with you guys because yesterday when I was driving here, I did it with my mom. Well, she like write it to me when I was driving. I just love doing it with people, so. By the way, this is the Tim Tebow devotional. It's in my Amazon storefront, LTK. So like today's July 6th, and so I'm gonna read. There's always like a Bible verse and then a little message, so. None of these things move me, nor do I count my life dear to myself so that I may finish my race with joy in the ministry which I received from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel of grace of God. That's in Acts 20, 24. So again, there's like a verse and then a message. It's important to look at how Paul wanted to finish his race with joy, a joy that cannot be explained in words and can come only from God. 
When we live with an internal perspective, we find peace in knowing that our lives are not about us. Keeping our eyes on heaven helps us to remember that life here on earth is short compared to eternity. There's no greater joy or satisfaction than knowing that we are living and celebrating and suffering with an internal purpose. Amen. God can only give us peace. It's so easy to like just think about everything that's going on in our life and like being selfish. Just for me personally, like I struggle a lot and I don't know, I'm a busy girl, lots going on in my life. And I'm not just saying me, like this goes for like a lot of people. And I know sometimes I get caught up on like the world and just like what's going on in my mind, what I'm like thinking about mentally, but when really like I only can find like peace and joy in God and who God is. And I just need to remember that. But that's your little, I'm not trying to be weird or like anything. That's your little devotional today. And I'm going to remember that all day. Also, pray to my little journal that today I'm going to be patient and kind. I struggle a lot. I like with being patient. I just, everything needs to like go, go, go. I just need to slow down. This is peach vibe. I'm back. Um, I went on a run outside. It was, it's so hot outside. It's also hot in my apartment, so I need to, like, put a work order. I don't really know. It's so hot. But I ran, I walked, and then I just walked to Publix because obviously I have no groceries here except for, like, snacks and stuff. So I just got stuff for breakfast this morning. Um, I'm going to go to the grocery store and do, like, a whole big grocery stock up on, like, everything I need. But... I got, this is my favorite, almond milk, bananas for my oatmeal, my favorite fruit, cantaloupe. I don't even need Celsius, but I love this flavor and I'm gonna drink it tomorrow. And then for like a little like snack just to have, I got carrots, hummus, and cucumber. But I'm gonna make some oats. And then basically the plan for today is like getting my life back together. I still need to unpack everything and like deep clean everything. I need to tumble. I need to go to the grocery store and figure out the air because it's so hot in my apartment. Let's try this camera. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm going to make breakfast. Three, two, one. Boom. It's the same breakfast I eat every single day of my life. And you guys have seen it a million times. So, nothing new. But I'm going to eat this. And I'll just vlog the next time I'm doing something. Oh my gosh, guys. I literally just picked up my packages. And I finally brought my suitcase up. Look at me go. But I got a package from YSL. Like, what in the... And it's so, like... Look how pretty. Get the YSL Beauty Contour Glow. So wait, this is moisturizer. We have a little tint, like a highlighter, and then a lipstick. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> This is crazy. This is so cute. The packaging is literally, and there's a mirror. Are you kidding? Look at that. I can't believe I got a package from them. Thank you so much. You guys are watching this. Oh, this is all the, I guess, shade. Hello, everyone. It's so much later now. Oh my gosh, it's kind of, I can't hear. But I'm at this little gymnastics gym. Backstory, I'm trying to tumble, but Ace right now, which is like the gym where we train at for Bama, it's like in renovation, like they're redoing the floors. And so I'm at this little local gymnastics gym and we're gonna tumble a little bit. And then after this, I'm gonna go to the grocery store. And yeah, so let's go tumble.
morning everyone it's now friday i literally went to bed at 10 p.m last night and i lo woke up like an hour ago did my little morning routine and i'm just gonna go on a walk i'm not gonna work out um i'm going to tumble later and i just like don't want to work out when i'm going to tumble because it just doesn't really work like that you know um i just don't want to be like tired when i'm tumbling but I'm gonna go outside, walk a couple miles, and come eat breakfast. This vlog is like very random. It's kind of just like me like getting settled in, and I'm gonna unpack today. Cause I only, like I unpacked everything, but this suitcase has all my clothes in it. And I kind of just been like putting it off, so. We're gonna do that today. But first thing, I'm gonna go walk, and come back, eat oatmeal, and that'll be it. Okay, well, it is much later and I just got locked out of my apartment. It started pouring, like everything kind of just like... By the way. Uh, anyways, we're going to Starbucks finally now. Well, I'm going to go through the Starbucks drive through This is the key fob, everyone. And I just like stick it to my Octo Buddy and it keeps falling off. But matcha or coffee? Can I get a venti iced matcha latte with almond milk? Can you put cinnamon powder on top of that, please? That's it. Thank you. It's literally pouring. How am I supposed to order? Like, I literally just got my entire car soaking wet. It's really fine. But that's kind of cool. I literally ordered, like, basically with my window up. So, that's pretty sick. Oh, I got a matcha, by the way. You guys couldn't hear me. I was literally screaming. <laughs> thank you. Sure. No, thank you. Oh, and there's cinnamon on top. <laughs> Let's taste. Oh, it's great. It's great. Who made it? Am I okay? I just asked who made it. Okay, the unpacking begins. We got it. This shouldn't take long. I just gotta be efficient. Everything's already folded, so we just put it in drawers, hang it up. That's gonna be the worst part. We got it, it's literally fine, I'm being dramatic. 